Ah, scounds, scounds. Folks, Paul here again, yet another new toy. Um, I was just on the Wheel Spin Models website and try to pre order the Arma and Fraction, which will be my first ever Arma. But I've seen this deal, and with being Father's Day, kind of lucky, lucky enough that the wife actually decided to grab it for me. So this was on a half price offer. I was actually planning to get a couple of more batteries for my Traxxas cars. and. It only worked out about £100 dealer to actually get a full car in the package and it didn't actually buy batteries so I ended up giving this a go so it's the Arma Outcast 6S and we'll it. It's absolutely gorgeous and um, it's my first ever Arma so we have wanting to get the infraction it'd be good to see kind of what Arma's all about because I've always been a sort of Traxxas guy um, straight off the bat though and just little silly things are so much better, just like these little retaining clips here. I mean, why doesn't everybody do that? See if you're losing any little pins all the time, it's just absolutely genius. Um, supposedly as well, these these spark if you go upside down, it's pretty cool, but I don't really want to go upside down, so hopefully I'll never find that out. I like to try and keep my cars looking as clean and tidy as I can. I'll just take the lid off this now. Another thing I noticed too, for See, see, I'm a Traxxas person, but the build quality of this, I mean, it's hard to tell till I have a proper go, but it just, I'm going to say it almost looks better. It's like just a neat, neat package, everything's well placed. I like these Velcro, Velcro strap ideas for the battery. Um, the ESC, the servo, the motor, everything just looks easy to get to. Everything feels solid. The swivel joints are huge. Suspension is just nice on it. Um, it looks absolutely fantastic build quality. So probably there's no, no point going into too much detail as I'm sure there's thousands of videos of these being put up with people doing walkthroughs and box openings. But I'll just get to the point of having a drive it and see how it goes, see what I think yet. Hopefully people will enjoy the video that I put up. And but most importantly, I'll be having a hell of a lot of fun doing it. Just another thing before I put the case on and switch it on though, these little mud guards here, I mean, I've got a Traxxas Slash. I think you spend more time cleaning the mud and rubbish out inside it than you do actually having fun with it. But the fact that you've got a belly pan and protection there, and with the case on top, it should keep it quite clean inside. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed with it. So, the most important bit is how does it drive. So, I'll just get the head cam on, have a wee shot, and I might make a wee video with other sort of angles and stuff and put it all together but um, yeah, time for some fun here we go sort the of trimmings and stuff it's pulling a bit to the side just now so That's hardly any throttle and whew. Holy shit man, fuck me. Apologise for swearing but that's like not any throttle and that is boogie. Look at that. It's an absolute wheelie machine. I don't think I've even been over quarter throttle yet. Maybe not even quarter. Brakes are unbelievable. Whoa! <laughs> I'm liking this. I mean, I love my UDR. That's scale awesome. This is my first ever stunt truck.
If I was out for more for realism than toy sort of look, but to be fair, it doesn't look like a toy, but it looks a bit oversized wheels and stuff, but it goes. <laughs>
was absolutely amazing. Definitely, definitely the most fun RC car I've ever had. I mean, I've had a lot, and I can tell this is special already. Um, I mean, I'm still on the first pack of batteries, the 6S ones. I've been going for absolutely ages. Never too much full throttle, but you don't really need it with the power it's got. Um, but I really need to go home now, as you've seen through the little one and, and the family, so... Yeah, I'm just going to have a couple of wee, maybe speed passes by the now and nothing too stupid but I've got to say I've learned a valuable lesson and maybe it's a lesson that other people could learn too if they were like me but don't be a brand snob <laughs> I mean I've been Traxxas all, all my car days oh, I've had the odd petrol ones that are just kind of various manufacturers but um, this is my first Arma car and I cannot wait for the infraction now I mean if it's anything near as fun as this I think my taxis will be on the shelf for a little while because this thing I just can't describe how much fun that is I mean I've not done any big jumps too much or anything I'm trying to just feel the car out and get used to it but it only took about 10 minutes I felt confident doing wheelies the little jumps and the air control is really good the braking's on it is really good so you can kind of balance it out um, the amount of power slides it does without top on, I mean, when I take my UDR out, obviously it's a different kind of car, but because it's a scale car, you try and step out and power slide, it looks good, but it has got a tendency to tip over, just, don't know if it's the weight or just because of the suspension, but, I mean, you get away with absolutely murder with this thing, it's, it's amazing, it's honestly, maybe my favourite RC car, definitely, I mean, my TRX 4 for looks and scale and just, because it's a Land Rover, but for fun factor, show me something that'll beat this. If you can show me something that'll beat this, I'll probably buy it, but I don't think for the money at this cost, there's anything close. No way. No danger. Let's do a couple of speed passes just now. And, and these batteries have been going for ages, but it's still, still plenty of info about it. Tires just absolutely blown up at speed. You got it twice the size. I just do not want to go home. <laughs> Put a break in it, it just dips. Try and do a wee wheelie here, see if I can still do them. Oh, skills! Skills! If I can beat that wheelie, that's probably my best one of the day. First one I recorded. It's got so much power, it's just... It makes you feel like an absolute professional driver. Brakes are just amazing. You kind of forget how fast you're going. Whoa. <laughs> Maybe that's telling me it's getting close to the end of the day. First crash. <laughs> Let's see how it looks. Hopefully nothing bad. Ah, not a mark. I also think that's a good thing too, just so we put in the GoPro camera mount on the top, it seems to save a lot of your shell, so I would see if you're not using a GoPro, just stick one on, it just saves a lot of damage and scuffs. In fact, it was really bad or spoiler. <laughs> I'm just like so excited driving this. Oh. It's 
If I was trying to drive this till the batteries are out before I go home, but it just doesn't seem to be losing much power at all. It looks so good with the big wheels and the suspension tucks too, I mean, watch this. Maybe not enough speed, but try that again. Just watch the suspension tuck. Loving the high speed gear though, I don't even think I'm even bother with that. I just love this car exactly how it is. There's nothing I would do to improve it. Just it's perfect. This hobby is so good. Oh. I could do this all day though, I'm going to have to stop myself because I don't think I just could ever go home well, I can feel it now, maybe good timing, I think that's it. the batteries that died to death there now that's absolutely perfect timing well, if you like that video, thanks for watching and no doubt we'll have something else up again soon probably a lot more of this car to come because this is amazing and Arma's just really impressed me big time. See you guys next time.